Okay, we are finally going to look at uh, Hello World. Um, before that, I wanted to show you, uh, you know, how the uh, how some types work, but uh, it's time for Hello World. Now, every time you start a new Rust program, it'll look like this. Hello World. It'll automatically generate this. I typed it now, but uh, it shows up automatically. Now, fn that means function. So we don't write func. We don't write function. Rust likes uh, short words, so uh, it just calls it fn. Uh, after that comes main. Main means it's the it's the main function. So this is where everything begins. And then we have these two brackets, and the two brackets mean that uh, nothing is going in. So we're not giving it anything. Uh, it's starting with no variables, nothing. And then after that comes this, uh, you know, the curly brackets. And these are code blocks, which means that the code starts here and it ends there. So it's like spaces for code to live inside. So it starts here and ends there. And then after that, <clears throat> you have this here, print line, which we saw a lot. Uh, you might have been wondering, what is the exclamation mark? An exclamation mark means that it's a macro. And a macro is, uh, they're difficult to make, but easy to use. And you don't have to write your own macros yet. But uh, they're kind of like super functions or functions that uh, write code. So they, uh, they're interesting. But uh, for the time being, just uh, think of this as a, uh, it's kind of like a function, but it's called a macro. And then after that comes this semicolon. And semicolons in Rust are not just about uh, the end of a line. They have to do with uh, return values. And I'll show, you, uh, I'll show you how that works. So let's look at uh, Hello World. Let's, uh, let's put in... Let's do this. So you'll remember if you put uh, curly brackets inside uh, a print line here, then this means um, take the, the value after and then print it out. So this is going to write hello world number number eight. And you can see right there, that's how it works. So after that, let's, uh, let's say instead of, uh, instead of eight, let's, uh, make our own function now. We'll call it number. Uh, we'll give it nothing. And we will return an i32. And this here is called the skinny arrow. And that means uh, what the function is returning. So we're telling it we're going to return an i32. And let's say we want to give it an eight. That's all we need to do. So instead of uh, writing the number eight, we will call the function number. We will give it nothing. So it will get nothing. And then we'll return i32, which is this eight, which is an i32. So if you run that, it'll be exactly the same thing. Now rest, uh, so eight and no semicolon means return eight. Rust does have a return, but uh, you don't need to use it most of the time. And uh, I'll show you what happens when you do use a semicolon. So uh, see, it generates an error. It says mismatch types, so the types are not the same. Um, and it always says expected something found something. That's what Rust says when uh, when you give it the wrong type. So we told it you know, we're going to return an I32, but we didn't return that because we have a semicolon. A semicolon puts an end to everything. So uh, so it's not returning anything. So what it returns instead is this thing, which is the unit type, which is like nothing. Um, so basically it said, you didn't give me anything. So 
So the way you can fix that is you uh, you go back to here, and also more on type inference. If you change this to uh, to a U8, it'll be smart enough to know. Okay, this is a uh, this is a U8. Uh, it, you don't need to write a U8 or a U8. So thankfully, it's uh, it's smart enough to know that. Uh, so now let's uh, let's look at some more functions. So we are going to make one called multiply. And this time we're going to give it some things. Uh, we are going to give it two numbers, number two, two. So you can see this time it's going to take some things and it's going to give back nothing. And this is how it's going to work. So when we start this function, we'll have number one and number two. They're both the same type, so we can you can we can add them, we can multiply. That'll be fine. So result equals number one times number two, and end that with a semicolon. And then we will print it out. We will say We'll just do that. So something times something is something. Number one, pull in number one, pull in number two, and pull in the result. And then in our main function, we can call this multiply. So we can say multiply eight and nine. So eight will become number one, and nine will become number two. And we can also do it this, actually, let's run it first. So there you go. 8 times 9 is 72. Uh, we can also give it variables with names. So we can say some number, oops, number equals 10. And let some other number equals 2. And then we bring in our multiply function again. Multiply some number, some other number, like that. And so again, the most important part here is that this ends in a semicolon, which means we are returning that, but we don't write that. And if we were to write i32, it would get mad because uh, you know, we are actually not returning anything. We're just uh, printing it, and uh, that's the end of the function.